What is up guys, Ryan, Maniac V2, and I have a, another tutorial video for you guys today. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to make uh, 3D text inside of a real life image with, uh, you know, shadows, reflections, all the good stuff, and nice lighting too. So uh, we're going to be doing this today, maybe not with the cubes, but definitely I'll show you how to do the text. Uh, the project file and the image, this image, this exact um, street will be in the description, so if you want to go ahead and download that now and uh, use it uh, for this tutorial, you know, just, you know, so you can get the hang of it and do it exactly how I'm doing it. That'll be cool. But anyways, if you don't want this street, you can search other streets on Google. Uh, just type in Main Street, and uh, yeah. So anyways, what you want to do is um, make sure that you find out your image size. I'm just going to use 1280 by 720, um, just because. And uh, so I'm going to do 1280 by, but if you want to do it exactly how your image looks then uh, use 1280 by 720 and it'll be your, your user uh, find out your image size but uh, anyway just use 1280 by 720 for this and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go file new material and you're gonna hit um, you're just gonna do file new material down here double click the material and go to texture don't mess with anything just don't mess with anything right now just go to color texture and you're gonna hit load image and I think my image is called main street um, not sure. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna put that in the description. So if you want to download it and follow along exactly how I'm doing it, that'll be cool, and uh, it'll be a lot easier. So you're not working with different images, and uh, you're gonna want to go up here to this general area. Click on the light button. It's right next to this one right here, and right next to this one. So it's uh right here. Just hold it down and click on background. Now what that does is just allows a to use your image on the background, and the lighting will not affect it and it will always look the same so anyways you're just going to drop the background in there and as you see we have the background if we render it out uh, that's fine and the next step very important step you're going to go to the render settings right here or you can go to render render settings right here or whatever I don't know but just push this button right here and then go to effect and then you're going to go to ambient occlusion this gives uh, better like shadows and stuff like that but anyways you're going to turn the contrast up to 35 or 40 let's do 40 and then you're going to turn the uh, maximum ray length up to 140. Um, just, I don't know, just, you know, it helps. So, anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to make our text and our, um, what do you want to call it? Our text and our, you know, shadows and stuff like that. So, what first thing we're going to do is drag in a plane. Don't mess with that plane at all yet. Just leave it there and you'll be fine for now. So, now we're going to create our text and uh, go create MoTeX. Don't don't move the plane or the text, okay? So go to MoGraph, MoTeX, or MoGraph text object, either one. Just make your 3D text and don't move it. Do not rotate it. Do nothing to it at all. So now once you have your plane and your text, um, you don't move any of these yet. Um, just make sure your text, now what you want to do with your text is you can move it now, but only like this. Move it so it's on the plane all the way, okay? This helps you a lot with lining up things and, you know, it's just better to do this way. So then now what you want to do is make um, your text and your plane kind of look like they're setting on the ground. So um, I'm going to go ahead and rotate my plane to uh, kind of make it look like it's sitting on this ground. Um, but I'm going to drop it down, of course. So kind of like this, you know. But uh, make sure these two are hold, are both selected right here. So. If you don't have them both selected, you won't be able to move them both at the same time. So just make sure they kind of make them look like they're lined up kind of the same as the sidewalk. Um, for this tutorial, I'm not going to be too specific on lining it up. But uh, anyways, that's that looks good for now. Actually, I might just uh, tilt it back a little bit like that. And then go to your plane, hit the resizing tool right here, the one in the middle, and then click the cube in the middle and drag it out. And now this makes your plane kind of wider. And now, um, what you want to do now is click on your plane, click control on this middle material, control and click and drag it onto your plane. And uh, now, when you render it out, um, it's all dark and it doesn't look good. So what we're going to do, actually, is um, we're going to have to go to click on that material, hit tags, or no, hit objects. What am I doing? Yeah, hit tags. Sorry click on the plane, hit tags, 
uh, Cinema 4D Tags and Compositing. Now click on the compositing thing, a little like movie thing, and go down to Compositing Background. And now our text looks um, pretty pretty good. Um, I mean, it doesn't look perfect in my eyes, but we can always go and mess with it in uh, these settings just like this. Just mess with the plane, make it look kind of natural. And now we render it out again, and it looks uh, looks a bit more natural in there. And um, now for the lighting part, we are going to um, just we're just going to make a, a new texture for our um, file new material. So file new material, and we're going to make a new material for our text. All right. So what we're going to do with the text right now is we're going to make a reflection on it. So how we do that is uh, you put reflection, and then you put your Texture to Fresnel, Fresnel, however you want to say it. Put that down to 28, and put this down to like 25. All right. Now, also you want to put a little bit of luminance on it, just just like that, maybe like like that. Yeah. And then you just um. That's that's fine for now. And then drag that onto your text, and uh, we'll see if it has a little bit of reflection. It doesn't really have that much reflection right now. You can see on the sides it kind of does, but um. That's that's okay if we if we rotate the text this way, um, we can see that it uh, might have a little bit more reflection. Let's see this. Uh, that looks pretty good, um, but the reflection isn't quite there yet. Um, so um, what we're gonna do is we're going to just make uh, a light right here, a light. It sounds dumb, but we're just gonna use a light, um, and then we're gonna put the light kind of where the light would be in the sky, so I'm, I'm just going to drop mine right up here and um, let's see what it does. Um, reflections, it's not it's not that good right now, so we're going to go da back into here and uh, we're going to turn the reflection up a lot. So uh, just give it, up, give it up a little bit like that and uh, just see there's the reflection right there, it's getting nice and good. And also what we can do with the light is um, we'll just First of all, if you want the reflections up, you just keep messing with it, but right now we're going to mess with the shadows a little bit more. The shadows aren't exactly how you want them, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to light, and we're going to go to shadow, we're going to go to light, down here in general, shadow, and we're going to go to um, <coughs> shadow maps soft. But now we have to, now the shadow looks kind of weird. I mean, look at this shadow. It's kind of like casting back there, and we, that doesn't, that, that doesn't look right for the lighting area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to shadow, and we're going to take this down to about 80, and we're going to take this down to about 200. And uh, this might be a little bit better if you you just have to mess with it. Um, that looks okay. Um, you may might want to take the resolution down a little bit. Uh, the resolution, what am I saying? Resolution down to 100. See how that goes. Um, yeah, but it's getting a little bit better. It um, it obviously is, you, the shadows will not always fit in exactly. I mean they're. Look at this shadow from this pole right here. There's there's a little bit of shadow on the wall, so um, you just gotta turn the resolution down just a little bit, you know, and uh, just tr turn the density down a little bit if you don't like it. And also, um, I mean, right now that's looking pretty good. Those shadows, they're they're not that noticeable, but they're pretty good on the ground. You can always turn the resolution up again to 60 or maybe 70, and uh, just render it out. But um, right now, I think I'm liking that. And also, if you want a little bit more shadow on the ground, you can take the Motex and just wrap it up a little bit. And that just, it makes it look like it's kind of floating, and there's kind of shadow above it, below it. And then, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, guys, um, for this tutorial. Um, if you if you really want to mess with the, um, the settings on the ambient occlusion, you can kind of mess with it and, uh, you know, mess with the maximum ray length and the uh, contrast and just... Play with it until you get your shadows so this uh, just right. So those shadows are a little, a little bit darker, you know, and uh, stuff. But anyways, that's how you put 3D text in a video. Make sure you follow all the steps when you're moving the plane around in the text at first. Have them both highlighted, and then you can move them around and make the image, you know, make the illusion. And then uh, once you have your plane set um, where you want it to be for, like, where you want it to stay, then you can move your text around. But I don't recommend moving it down at all. If you move it down, as you'll see, it'll go through the plane, and it'll kind of look weird. I mean, that kind of looks weird. It's coming out of the ground, unless you want that to happen. But um, 
yeah, I just recommend moving it like this and rotating it left or right. Um, just to, you know, give just to keep it simple and you know not mess with it too much and mess it up. But anyways, guys, that's how you do 3D text inside of a video. Hope this tutorial wasn't too long. I hope it helped. And uh, image file and uh, probably project file will be in the description. So thanks, guys. See you.